at the heart of Fred's intuitions, in my view, admirable intuitions, was the idea, one, an idea I've mentioned before here, uh, that, that religion duly restrained along in balance with a secular order, uh, that's, those are the conditions for world peace. That, I think, was a fundamental. He was a part, as you well know, of the just and durable peace commitment and part of the recommendations of that committee, which lasted from 1942 to 1946, was that a, uh, a regime of rights, respect for rights, religious freedom, etc., be part of a new world order, which the, the members of this committee were very much behind creating. And one of the things that's very interesting to a student like me of religion and peace, religion and human rights, is the degree to which even empirically at this point uh, the insights of a Fred Noldy have come to pass. Let me mention specifically a book published last year by Brian Grimm and uh, uh, Finke, I've forgotten his first name, um, the, the, uh, the subject of the book is, it's a survey of uh, violations of religious freedom around the world and the connection of those violations to the instigation of conflict and especially violent conflict. And the single most important conclusion of the book is the more abuse, the more violation, the more violence. That's the equation that comes out of a very, very rigorously conducted, methodologically, I think, extremely sound study of the connection between religious freedom and peace. So we begin to have empirical evidence now which confirm the kind of things that Fred Noldy was, uh, was advancing. Uh, uh, together with that, there's a whole range of empirical data now which contribute to what's called the liberal peace. That's a term of trade in the academic community now. And the liberal peace basically means that the degree to which a country develops robust and carefully sequenced political and economic institutions, the higher the degree of peace, both internally and externally. Uh, in other words, democratic regimes do not fight against each other. That's become almost the most important uh, political science axiom that exists in the literature these days. Not to say, by the way, that democratic regimes don't go to war with non-democratic, but that's another matter. The idea is that democratic institutions, including provisions for religious freedom and so forth, are a, a key feature of uh, world peace. And that seems to me very much at the heart of what Fred Noldy and all of his associates were talking about uh, during that period of the late 40s and right on through the 50s. So far from being irrelevant or beside the point or uh, part of a dead past, those insights, the things that he was advocating, seem to me have gathered a great deal of momentum and uh, our, uh, the time is ripe for us to, uh, far from ignoring them, uh, promoting them, expanding them, uh, engaging in them with the same, I hope, kind of uh, vitality that Fred Noldy did.